All right, guys, uh, this is very emotional video, and uh, it's something I found. I've been looking for probably 35 years now, maybe. So it's not like every day I was looking for it, but uh, it's always in my mind. And I always, uh, if I see anything that reminds me of it, I'm like, oh, I need to find it and this and that. So the story goes back to when I was 18, 19 years old, and I was in Greece, in Athens, and working in uh, the tourist area there in, around the Acropolis, uh, one of the touristic shops. And I lived there for a few years. So I'm like 18, 19 years old. And um, when I'm done with my job, first thing I do, I go walk down uh, to, uh, especially on Fridays, uh, all the local shops, they're open till 8.30 late. So by 6 o'clock, I go, I walk to the area where there was a lot of jewelry stores and markets and everything and a lot of watch stores. So every Friday, Saturday, you know, I'm there uh, going, checking out the windows. I used to check window shops for watches since I was 12 years old. I mean, my friends were sick of me every time we stopped at every watch store. Every time I see, I have to look at the window and check all the watches. If you're a watch guy, you probably relate to this. You know what I'm talking about. So anyway, uh, 18, 19 years old. And in Greece, uh, back then they had uh, a Tag Heuer was a huge brand like everybody loved tag heuer and then uh there was uh, this watch uh that always captivated my attention every time i see it in the window i'll get to it but to explain it to you i mean if you see this display on in a watch window it's yellow and it's like i'm like a fly i just go to the window and look at the watches and i dreamed about those watches and uh i don't know what was it but i just love their display and the colors and this brand was camel trophy now camel is the cigarette stuff that they used to uh probably for uh, marketing reasons they started the camel trophy safaris uh they outfitted Land Rovers, uh, Range Rovers, uh, Defenders, and so on. So a lot of cars. You can Google it, and you can see all those yellow uh, Defenders with the uh, Camel Trophy badges and everything. They probably, for marketing, sponsored this uh, safaris. Uh, you had guys going into the wilderness uh, off-roads and things like that. And they created like a lifestyle, you know, the Explorer and so on. For me, it was the color and the logo. I don't smoke. I don't care for the camel, but it, it was cool. Anyway, so I always wanted a watch from camel. And at that time, it was like two $300. Uh, honestly, it wasn't something I had extra to spend on it. I didn't work all the time for a lot of other reasons. So I always, always looked at the windows. It's like, okay, I was... At 18, 19, I knew I wanted this Rolex Submariner. Like, I used to go to the Rolex store also, look and keep looking. And I made everybody dizzy. But uh, this is more something like a fun thing to, for me. It's, they never made a uh, serious watch. Uh, they're all quartz. But the whole thing, it looked very nice. And for years, I tried to find one and just to have it. You know, just to have it. And the... Uh, Every once in a while, I go on eBay, I look around, and I always see the watch, any watch, not a great condition. Remember, it's 30-year-old, because later in 1990s, they shut down the whole thing, and uh, I don't think you can advertise Camel anymore. I don't know if uh, YouTube can uh, stop this video, so I, I don't know about those things. But anyways, we're not here to talk about that. We're about the watch and the memory of it. Uh, about a month ago, I found this on ebay i was looking for something and this thing came up because it's uh, always in my search history and i'm looking and i can't believe it the box the watch the papers everything complete 
I'm like, I gotta have it. It was on uh, auction. I sent an offer, and a day later, I guess they accepted my offer. Nobody's looking for these things. Let's be honest. <laughs> Nobody cares about them. But for me, it's an emotional and very sentimental thing. So I got it. It's right here, and I'm gonna open it with you. And. I did not realize how beautiful and well made the box is a tin box as you can see you can hear and even this it's like a toolbox I mean the whole thing people they made amazing amazing designs and qualities back then uh, in graphics and colors the color is just uh, I don't know so anyways so you push the button here and it opens up and by the way, I couldn't believe the, the condition of the watch and everything that it has. And remember, this is more than 30 years old. So now I can't even open it. Oh, I'm pushing the right, wrong button. So there you go. That's the watch. The box. Look at it. It's like a time capsule from 30, 40 years ago. The whole thing with the logo in the back, the logo inside. And this is this is one of my nicest, nicest, beautiful designs on a watch band ever. For me, in for my in my opinion, this is always what made those watches different. They had this little tag that you can remove the leather band, it goes in. It's it's, it's independent. It's not with it. And it's they're mostly their quartz. Some of some there's a couple designs they were uh, models they were uh, automatic with ETA movements. But this one, somebody had it. I don't know how this person had it on eBay. I have no idea. I didn't ask. I don't care. i just happy to have it. This is He has an extra band with it. I know this. Many times uh, some of you buy watches from me and you always buy an extra band. And there you go. There's the extra band with it. And instruction booklet that's something i i never found i never knew that these things existed again very cool logo colors how this is instruction as you can see i went into it and i made it run by the way i changed the battery the battery was sitting there for uh, i think it was the original battery it leaked a little bit so i cleaned and uh, serviced a little bit the movement as much as i can and few other few tries and i got it going it's it's going and it's very cool. Look at this. This is now it's telling the time. If you go down up, I think it's the chronograph. It centers and now the stopwatch works. I mean, how cool is that? It's it's a Miyota movement, I believe, the Japanese movement. And this is the time. And then one more click and you adjust the time. And there's this black onyx piece looking like there that that guides you to chronograph time or adjustment. Again, super, super, I cannot believe. Now, even he has the tag, the tag, the hang tag. And this is metal. How cool is that? I mean, we don't see now they're like piece of paper or plastic or I don't know what they are, but this thing is like a medallion, like you want something. <laughs> I cannot believe it. I'm like a kid now in a candy store when I saw this thing. And the international warranty. At that time, these watches were uh, made by Mondain. You probably heard about Mondain watches. They make those uh, uh, train station uh, clock looking watches. This is the, the, the company that made those watches. So they were Swiss company. And that's not all, guys. I cannot believe it has the warranty card and it's stamped. The date, 31st July, 1994. That is 30 years ago, exactly. This watch in a couple of weeks will have its birthday. <laughs> 30 years old birthday. And it's been purchased from somewhere in Switzerland. Right there, that's the address. I mean... It took me 30 years to look for it, and when I found it, I found the best one. And this is my little side story. I know nobody's looking for a camel watch on YouTube or anything. Uh, I don't care about who's going to watch it or this and that, but this is something I would love to share with you. 
and it's beautiful and i hope uh, youtube doesn't mind these things i don't know if we're uh, going against any policy but again nothing to do we don't smoke i hate smoking it's just the coolest thing ever and i'm very happy to have it and no it's not for sale it's gonna sit in the store as just a memento and every time i look at it, it takes me back to 30 years we're going back in time every time i look into it thank you guys